This is going to be the toughest question to ask. You, all, <laughs> all right. right. Okay. And so uh, Peanut got me so excited. I, I I wanted to hit you with this first. Okay. Okay. All right. Who's the best receiver? Calvin, better receiver, Calvin Johnson Ooh. or Randy Moss? You played Ooh. with both. All right, Randy was a different time in Minnesota when you yep. were him. But yep, yep. Calvin, you had young. You were older and you got Calvin. Yeah. So which one was the best receiver you ever played against? That you ever played with? I would have to go with Randy Moss. Um, you know, a couple of reasons. One, longevity by his side. All right. Okay. Um, even at an older age when people thought he was washed, he went to New England and mm, got killed busy. It. Got killed it. Like 22 touchdowns, <laughs> yeah. 23 mm. touchdowns, something wild. Um, he was the most naturally gifted athlete I've ever seen. I mean, he could play baseball. He, I think he could have ran in the Olympics. Basketball. He, yeah, he was a really good basketball hooper. He was a really good hooper. Yeah, yeah. A beast. Um, and he, he would show up and – not even really have to warm up in his prime like Randy didn't even warm up I'm talking about not at practice a game I remember you know warming up next to him and I'm like like Jim Carrey and cable guy I'm doing all kinds of stretches you know what I'm saying and Randy's just over there just moving his feet up and down yeah and the coach was like hey Randy you gotta warm up and he's just sitting there like whatever and he's like Randy come on let's go we got a game in a little bit and he just so casually looked over he's like hey you ever seen a cheetah stretch before it hunts? <laughs> and it was like one of them like abnormally profound questions that we didn't have to answer for. And I'm like, and we're all like, yeah, you're right. A cheetah never, it just goes. Yeah, it gets the it. food. And, and we all kind of looked, looked at Randy, looked at the coach. Coach turned around, walked away, and Randy had another big day on the field. So Randy was naturally gifted. Yeah, yeah. Right. I will say this, though. Calvin was a freak. Yeah. But he also worked, worked. his yeah. ass off. Yeah. Yeah. Calvin was 6'4", 6'5", 230. Sometimes he'd get it to around 240. And he still was a 4'3 guy jumping a 45-inch vertical. Yeah, crazy. Right. Right. But he would show up every day and work like he was a free agent. Like, Calvin, when we do conditioning, he wouldn't just, like, lead us by a step or two. He would beat us by as much as his athleticism was supposed to beat us by. Right. And I always, like, I admired that about him. Um and and I feel like if Calvin would have played as long as Randy, right. this would be a different conversation. Thousand yeah. percent. But I, you know, you you can't you can't knock Randy's numbers, and then on top of that, just like his his intimidation factor. I remember being in the slot, and there was a <laughs> there was a DB um, in front of him, there was a safety behind the DB, and then the safety from the other side of the field was rolling over the top. So he basically had to beat three levels of defense yeah. in one play. And sure enough, Dante Culpepper dropped back with max protection and let that thing <laughs> rip. Touchdown back in the end zone. Mm. Like, and I, I just remember being in, there were moments where I was just in awe. Like, I remember another time, DB is giving everybody fits. And Randy goes up there and I saw the, the whites of the DB's eyes. His toes was all the way up because he's ready to get out of there. He's ready to back. <laughs> and then Randy, uh, the DB backs up, right? So he's acting like he's going to press him. And then he backs up to about eight yards. And as soon as he snaps the ball, Randy's off the line of scrimmage just goes like this. Now, mind you, he had a hitch. So he could have ran the hitch. Right. But he's like, the DB's off at eight, backpedaling, which means he's probably at like a 15. Yeah. And Randy in his head is thinking, I'm still going to run past you. So he comes off the line of screaming, <sighs> and just hot takes hands, off. hot hands, and then boom, <laughs> touchdown. So Randy was just a different type of beast, man. And look, it, that's what all the the my 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 former teammate Darren Sharp was like. Look, like nobody would card Randy Moss one on one in his prime. Like you had to have another safety over the top, to. or it was like you had no chance. <clears throat> and, and that was a whole defense. Peanut like, was out there <laughs> doing yeah. his thing. Yeah. That, I, I think what, what for me though, I, I think I had success with Randy. You played both. Yeah, I had success with Randy because coach used to always say, "Man, you got to guard the man, not his reputation." And I really, I really took that to heart. Like, yo, I he is Randy Moss. He is that dude. But yeah, I I can't be I can't be afraid of you, the man. Like your reputation, you're this. But like, I'm a dog too. Like, and you also played to your strengths. Yeah, your length. Yeah. yeah, like your he's length way, gave he's a, he's a big big long. Corner. <laughs> so a really big even corner. if you knew you weren't trying to get your hands on him, yeah. you knew if you just did the street fighter like Dawson just like reached out, <laughs> you knew that would just like it would cause a little bit of hesitation. If you can yeah. get Randy to hesitate in the line of scrimmage, 
I'm not saying you got a chance to beat them. Mm-hmm. You got a chance to stay with them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, I've always admired those battles, man. Um, you know, it's it's just. It's hard, though, when you look at those two guys because they're just so different. Like, Calvin was physical. I will say this, though. You stack up their highlights together, Mm -hmm. you're going to see impressive catches. You're going to see them go up over the top of guys, double coverage, even triple coverage. You're going to see good route running. But I think the separation will be that Calvin was by far a better blocker. Like, Calvin was a beast in the run game. I remember me being in the slot and having a bubble route, and Cal was on the outside. I got up to the line of scrimmage, and in my head, I'm like, oh, I'm – I'm already thinking about my dance I'm going to do because Calvin's about to run this dude into the tunnel. And I knew it. And I I knew I was about 30 yards away from the end zone. I wasn't even worried about Calvin's man. He got up on that DB, put them hands on him, drove him to the sideline. I just ran right inside because I trusted Calvin that much. He He never gave up on the play. All right, so tell me this.